hello everybody welcome back to my channel i hope you guys have been enjoying yourself and staying safe so this is part two of a video um of doing a memorial angel wings ornament so let me go ahead and bring everything into focus um you see i've already got my heat press set up um Normally, when you do sublimation, most of the instructions are normally, what, 400 degrees for about 60 seconds. Um, as I stated earlier, you know, you kind of got to do what works for you. So here's the box. I got these ornaments from Amazon. So I'm going to show them to you because they come in pieces. Uh-oh, y'all can't see it. So here are your blanks. So these are the ornament blanks. Um, and I just wanted y'all to see what's in the box. So here's the blanks. So I got 12 like this and 12 in the bag. Don't ask me why. <laughs> that's how they came. And that's what I'm going to, you know, do. So I've already got the one that I'm going to use out. I don't know if you can see. There, no, you can't. Yeah, there's a film on here if you can see i'm gonna take that off in a second but uh just want to bring this to your notification most of the times whenever you buy any type of sublimation blank check to make sure there's not a film on there before you start pressing you'd be very upset it came with these glue dots because i read the reviews and they were saying the adhesive was useless i'm, I'm not even going to use these because it ain't going to work. I already know. Um, but I just want to show you what all came in the box. So it came with these glue dots. I'm going to save those for another project. The reason being, here are the feathers. Um, child, where's the top of this thing at? Lord have mercy. I should have had it open, but y'all know how I am. I like to show y'all stuff. Okay, here it is. I'm sorry. Good God. Why is that so hard to open? Okay. Like, is it childproof or adult proof? Man, come on. So, here are the wings. And I like the fact that each one comes individually wrapped. Um, because you can go ahead and wrap. Let me move this to the side. If you're making these to sell or give away, I love the fact that the wings come individually wrapped because after you press it, you can go ahead and put it back in here. So let me go ahead and see if I can take this out of here and just be kind of careful because I want to, y'all, I get these nails and can't do nothing. Good night. So you open up the bag and this is how it comes and it has um a little loop that you can hang it um and again with this being a feather you know for a fact there is no way that that adhesive I don't know what they were thinking, but at the end of the day, you know a crafter's mind. We're always thinking of an option. So normally what it's going to look like is you would just put it somewhere along the lines of there. After you press it, then you hang it. It's not heavy. So depending on the type of tree you have, it won't be so bad. The first video I created, the, I got them upside down. I created these two images. Um, one was a square and the other is a circle. Um, so I'm only going to press one for the sake of time. Go ahead and cut it. I'm going to be brave and I'm going to try to do the circle. Because um, I'm brave like that. First thing you want to do is remove that protective coating on here because um, you don't want to sublimate on top of that. 
And of course, I probably should have had this already done before I recorded the video. So I'm just using my... And you got to be careful because you definitely don't want to... Oh, y'all, I ain't even on screen. Lord have mercy. Let me see. And it's, this is on there, man. Okay, there it is. It's starting to come off. Because I was about to say, if I can't get another one. And y'all know I like to do everything. You got to be careful when you're doing this. Because you definitely don't want to scratch it. Let me see if enough came up for me to. Y'all see where it started? This is They got this on here, man. Let me see if I can go around and get it to come up. Let me see. Let me bring it down. Because this is really on here. I, I've never worked with a substrate where the doggone protective cover was on so good again i got these from amazon and i i i don't know about this because this is like if you can't get it off all right i got it started gee whiz this is, and i've already i can already see where i've scratched it around the edges and I just put lotion on my hands because I didn't <laughs> I didn't want y'all to see my ashy hands because you wash them every five minutes. And that's probably why I'm not able to grip this. So let me go ahead and peel this off. And this is hard. I might have to get another one. Just for the sake of this video, let's see, y'all, if I can get another one. Um, Cause they got that on there good. Let's try this one. Oh no, I can see where a piece of the coating is coming off. Um, I don't know, y'all. This is on here really good. And I'm trying to peel it. And I really don't want to start this video over again. All right. That one's doing a little bit better. Woo. All right. We averted a tragedy. Tragedy. Lord. So you see right there where I was using my pick to get that off. Um, Y'all, this stuff is stuck. Um, something else to take into consideration whenever you're removing this, it's on there. So I'm going to take my paper towel, spray it with alcohol, and wipe it off just to remove anything, but honey, the way that doggone thing was stuck on there, ain't nothing to wipe. Um, but then um, I see some of the adhesive from this. Let me spray it again. I can actually see some of the adhesive uh, residue on here, and you definitely don't want that. Um, so I've gotten that off. Ooh, y'all, this was a workout. So... A tip, if you got nails, you might want to let somebody else do that part for you. Um, I'm trying to remove that residue. Y'all can't see it, but I can. Let me hurry up because we're already at nine and a half minutes. But the next part is going to go kind of quick. All right, so I'm going to open up my press. Got my handy dandy heat tape. So I'm only going to press one. This is a piece of parchment paper. I got this from the Dollar Tree. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place my image 
face down. Of course, whenever you're sublimating, you want the paper top part to be towards your heating element, but I'm going to do that face down. Once I tape it, then I'm going to flip it over. So here's one of those things about using a template. It's just a little bit of overhang if you want it to be exact. So I'm going to take this to my image. Put this over and then flip it. That way my paper's at the top. I'm going to go ahead and press this. Um, so while I'm pressing it, I am using a sub sublimation paper. I'm using Printer's Jack Sublimation Ink. Again, as mentioned in my first video, this uh, image was created in Silhouette Studios. I have a Silhouette Cameo. Um, I love that software. Haven't tried anything else, but of course, you can use whatever software um, you have that you're comfortable with. My heat print, I'm sorry, my heat press came from U.S. Cutter. I've had it years now. I promise you I don't know the make or model um, or anything, but I did get it from U.S. Cutter. You can get heat pressures anywhere. It's a 15 by 15. I've got my Teflon sheet taped. Not taped. I'm sorry. I got these magnets from the Dollar Tree. And I just got my Teflon sheet there. That way I don't have to keep taking it up and taking it off and stuff like that. But I've seen the covers that you can buy. So I'm looking into um, investing in one of those. All right. So here we go, y'all. Moment of truth. Let me lift this up. Um, one of the ways you can tell is because you can see the design through the back. So let me go ahead and take this off. And... There we go. Let me bring it into focus. That's my mom and dad. And if you can see right down here, I kind of went off a little bit. So that's the thing. If you're going to use exact measurements, you got to be kind of mindful of how you place it. So this is what it looks like. Now, again, I am not going to use the tape that double-sided tape that they have because <laughs> no um there's no way that that double-sided tape is gonna do that so i got my glue gun going over here let me unplug it and i'm just gonna bring it over here so i would assume that this little feather here don't want to stay down so i'm gonna put a little bit of glue to hold him down um and i'll just let this be the back so what i'm gonna do is take my glue gun i'm gonna put some glue on the back of this this one is mine and i'm experimenting so Turn it to the top. So here's my, and I'm going to put it probably right about here. Press it down. There we go. <laughs> I like it. I think it's cute. Um, I think this is so cute. Um, this is so cute. Y'all can tell sometimes I just, I shock myself. Um, and this is on here. And just like I said, if I were doing this for someone to sell, of course, I would do more glue. I would not advise using the glue dots that came with this because there is no way. This is not heavy, but that glue dots were not meant um, to put on top of. Uh, this is not a fabric, but this is not like a hard surface. So I would suggest um, either for a quick uh adhesion i would do um glue gun 
you probably could use um, E6000, but you know E6000 takes time to cure. So this is so cute though. Look at that. And it, it's not heavy. Um, so you can hang it on your tree. Um, or you can just, I don't know, hang it on something. But you see it kind of lean towards the front. But there's that. I think this is so cute. So anyway, thank you guys so, so much for all of your support. Thank you for tuning in. Um, if you're not already a subscriber, I don't know what you're waiting on. Hit the notification button so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Um, like the video if you found it helpful. Leave a comment in the comment section. Um, I've already said subscribe. Leave a comment. Um, anything you want to see me do, go ahead and drop that in the comments. Until then, thank you guys so much for your support. Um, and as I always say, do whatever makes you happy. And for me, that's crafting. Bye now.